Hey there, quick note before we dive in, what you're watching right now is a lesson from one of my courses that I've decided to release completely for free here on YouTube so you don't have to pay a dime. So instead of asking you to buy my course, if you want to show your appreciation, here's a couple of things that you can do. Like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel. These small actions tell YouTube to share my content with more people, which is a huge help. Also, feel free to check out my recommended equipment links in the description below. If you do purchase equipment from these links, I do get a small commission at no extra cost to you whatsoever. Or if you want to, you can leave me a super thanks or even just hit play on one of my playlists. I know it sounds silly, but if you just hit play on one of my playlists and let it play in the background, even if you're not paying attention, it again, it tells YouTube, hey, people are watching these videos. I'm going to push it out to more people. So even if you just want to do that, I would love it. I would appreciate it so much. And then lastly, if you're looking for more personalized help, I do offer private coaching that you can find in the description of this video. Either way, I really appreciate you whether you choose to do one of these things or not just by simply watching this video it means a lot to me thank you so much now let's get to the lesson all right so you bring in the audio you've just recorded and riddled throughout the entire recording mouth noise Unless you're recording ASMR, I'm assuming you're not too incredibly happy about this. Well, let's get rid of it. But first, let's listen to my audio. Dunkin' Donuts, unbelievable selection of breakfast sandwiches. Freshly made all day so you can enjoy them any type of way, any time of day. That's breakfast whenevs. America runs on Dunkin'. Okay, so let's bring up our declicker. This is the declicker from Isotope RX Elements. It's the cheapest way you can buy this plugin. The next grade above this is the Isotope Standard, and its declicker is called Mouth Declick rather than just Declick. And the standard version actually does an even better job. I'll pull it up here in a second. The only things that you need to be concerned with here is the algorithm and the sensitivity. We want to set the algorithm to multiband random clicks and the sensitivity to its default 3.0. Now, if you want to eliminate more clicks, you can definitely increase the sensitivity, but be careful here. If you increase this too aggressively, it can begin to chop off the beginnings of words and make your audio sound funky. Now, the reason for this is that these tools were actually originally designed to repair old vinyl records that end up with pops, clicks, and crackles over time. And if you set the sensitivity too aggressively, it will begin to perceive words that start with P's, T's, C's, and K's, and so on, as pops and clicks, and it will begin to reduce or get rid of them. Not ideal. Dunkin' Donuts, unbelievable selection of breakfast sandwiches. Freshly made all day, so you can enjoy them any type of way, any time of day. That's breakfast whenevs. America runs on Dunkin'. Dunkin' Donuts, unbelievable selection of breakfast sandwiches. Freshly made all day, so you can enjoy them any type of way, any time of day. That's breakfast whenevs. America runs on Dunkin'. All right, now let's pull up Isotope standard mouth declick. This one is even easier. Honestly, its default setting does an amazing job. So, there we go. Done. But if you find that it's just too aggressive for your specific audio, just back off the sensitivity a little bit. Dunkin' Donuts, unbelievable selection of breakfast sandwiches. Freshly made all day, so you can enjoy them any type of way, any time of day. That's breakfast whenevs. America runs on Dunkin'. Dunkin' Donuts, unbelievable selection of breakfast sandwiches. Freshly made all day, so you can enjoy them any type of way, any time of day. That's breakfast whenevs. America runs on Dunkin'. At the end of the day, you really don't need to worry yourself too much about your mouth noise. It's the engineer's job to take care of this once you send the audio off to them. And remember, when you book a job, you're not supposed to add any processing to your audio whatsoever. Adding this declicker and any other processing to your audio is just for auditions. Long story short, if you add some declicking to your auditions and it doesn't get rid of every single mouth click in your audio, it's totally fine. The people you're sending your audio off to won't fault you whatsoever for having some mouth noise in your audio.